Thank you, Claire. New tonight at 5, the storm damaged homes, businesses, cars, and even the Canine Cemetery at the Fraternal Order of Police Camp. 44 News reporter Amy Faisenbaker spoke with officials about how they're recovering tonight. The Canine Cemetery has held a special place in the hearts of officers and canines for decades now, laying to rest the ones who help protect those who serve our community. And now many of those crosses are destroyed. I'm going to set this one back up. Since the late 1980s, canines from across the tri-state have been buried at the Fraternal Order of Police Camp across from the canine training facility. It was very special that, you know, a lot of the dogs have trained out here for years and their final resting place is right here where they train. For Officer Butel, he has worked in the canine unit since 2012. And with the help of his own canine, Ace, he has seen the impact these animals can have on making the community a more safe place. Canine Ben, who's who's buried out here, uh, years ago he was killed in the line of duty uh, by alerting officers that there was a gunman in a car. After Tuesday's severe storms, two massive trees landed on the grounds, breaking over a dozen of the crosses that paid tribute to the canines. And this damage affects those who worked closest with these animals. These canines, they're part of uh, an officer's family for for many many years, and. Uh, you know, losing them is, is is a lot, and it's nice to have a nice place to come and, you know, visit and reflect. Looking here, I, I, I see so many dogs that I've, I've worked alongside um, over the years. The Evansville Police Department is working alongside Southern Indiana Police Canine Association on the canine restoration project to revamp this special place that brings others so much peace. We do care and love, love our canines in this community, and... Uh, want to give them the, the honor and respect that they deserve. Many members of the community have already reached out to help in any way they can on the expenses to repair the cemetery. To learn more about the Canine Restoration Project, you can visit our website at WEVV.com. Reporting in Evansville, Emmy Faisenbaker, 44 News.